Hello everyone. Today I want to explore how technology and in particular AI is reshaping our approach to creating beautiful outdoor spaces. I think everyone is a little bit on edge at the moment when it comes to job security. Will a machine be able to take my job or, or could an algorithm replace me? And the truth is it's probably still too early to tell in so many of our livelihoods. Garden design isn't just about picking pretty flowers. There are so many facets to creating an incredible garden space. And to be honest, managing expectations is probably one of the biggest parts of my job because the truth is we're dealing with nature here and nature is unpredictable to a large extent. Whether it's something as obvious as delays on a project because of unexpected rain or, or certain plants being unavailable for a design because of the, the effects of a season or because they've been wiped out by pests or diseases. Remember those glossy magazine spreads that made us dream of, of perfect gardens? They, they painted an idealized picture, but they often left out the realities of year-round maintenance. And what those magazines would have neglected to mention is that those photos were usually taken during the two to three weeks of floral abundance. And the rest of the year, the garden would have been relatively nondescript at best and, and probably brown and dead looking in the middle of winter. But that's not what people see, so that's not what they come to expect which can make my job a little bit tough at times. Often, even architects will create these 3D renders based on, on their concept, creating these very realistic ideas that again, look amazing, but might be far from most people's reality. And obviously, almost anything is possible if you throw enough money at it. But I'm speaking generally here. To create these buildings with trees growing all over them is not impossible, it's just incredibly difficult. But again, this sets up expectations in the mind of the client. Today, for most people, platforms like Pinterest have taken over from magazines and books as sources of inspiration. And while they dazzle with beauty and variety, they lack the context needed to create practical, sustainable designs. You have no idea what the climate is or who the client is, or even what the budget or the brief was. Those would have been details you may have been given in a decent magazine article, but it's just one image after another carefully curated for you by an algorithm. These images, they look stunning, but can they capture the essence of a real garden or are they just too good to be true? But here's where I see AI starting to really create problems for landscape design and the industry in general, because you can type in a few verbal prompts into an image generator and and create some amazingly realistic images of gardens that, that look truly spectacular but defy all reality. They look possible because people don't necessarily know any better. And in, in fact, they don't just look possible, they, I think they're eye-catching because of their impossibility. They're literally too good to be true. Like oversized leaves or flowers, unbelievable colors, completely original structures, or just impossible combinations of plants apparently growing side by side quite happily. But then that becomes a frame of reference for what the client wants and anything less than that is just disappointing. And then after that you add into the mix some inexperienced designers overselling these impossible concepts and the end result is clients who get burnt having spent a fortune on something that was always doomed to failure. And that reflects badly on the industry as a whole and it erodes trust. And I've seen this scenario a few times and I, th I think it's set to intensify with the increase in the use of AI. But the question is, could AI actually replace a garden designer? Well, I'm gonna sit on the fence for this answer because it depends. And I think this answer applies to all areas where AI is involved in creative fields. Because in the past, the benchmark was, could AI fool you into believing that you were dealing with another human being? And for a long time, that seemed impossible. But now, in the space of a few months, we've crossed that line and shot way past it. But when it comes to creativity, I don't think that benchmark is good enough. Just like AI pretends to be human, there are many people out there designing gardens, pretending to be garden designers. I know that sounds harsh, but, but humans are easily fooled, especially when expecting mediocrity. And honestly, we all have to start somewhere and we all make mistakes. But I think that's a reflection on society today because our culture values usefulness, low price and efficiency above all. We've become addicted to mediocrity. 
AI uses the pool of existing human knowledge to create an appearance of human intelligence. It's essentially copying and pasting in very intelligent ways. And you can definitely see that in AI generated images and text. There's something unsettling about an interaction that seems real but isn't. In technological terms, this is something called the uncanny valley and it's, it's a hurdle that is far harder to overcome than we think. But make no mistake, technology will get better and better at copying and pasting and it'll learn very quickly. But creativity is more than that. Obviously, there's nothing new under the sun and all ideas are stolen, but it's the combination of the seeds of an idea and the something intangible in real life that brings beauty and art and true creativity. But it's not all bad news. AI isn't just about creating new things and pretty pictures. It holds potential to revolutionize various aspects of garden design from, from plant selection, helping us select the perfect plants for our garden based on the climate and the soil conditions, to smart irrigation systems that respond to real time weather forecasts. AI can definitely help in the mundane tasks and is improving daily in these areas. But amidst these advancements, the essence of garden design remains rooted in human expertise. It's about understanding the nuances of each space and, and creating something that's truly unique. So while AI may streamline certain tasks, creating magical gardens still requires the touch of human creativity and intuition. So can AI design a beautiful, sustainable garden? Right now, I don't think so. Thanks for joining me in this intersection of technology and garden design. And remember, at the end of the day, the beauty of gardening lies in the connection between nature and humans, something that can only truly be experienced in real life. So time to get out there and experience it for yourself. Until next time, happy gardening.